Rev Fisca, I was wondering uh, if you could speak on Theology of Glory versus Theology of the Cross, and then uh, why do Christians lean to the former rather than the later? It's our flesh. It's just it's just natural for us to want to believe it's about us. That, that that's what sin is, uh, and uh, salvation by works is not only what sin is after the fall. It's what sin is in the fall. So so follow me here. Adam and woman are in the garden. It's perfect. It's paradise. They decide to save themselves from paradise by works. All right? Follow this, right? So they're like, I'm going to grab this fruit and by my action, I will become better than I am. So the sin itself is salvation by works. That's the first sin. <laughs> is to try to improve yourself. Huh? And then as soon as it happens, what do we do? We're like, well, I'll fix it. Huh? And, and you, you see that by them hiding. You see that by them putting the, the uh, leaves on. I'll fix it with veganism. Huh? Um, and then what happens next? God comes and he covers them with blood, removes them from the garden so they can't live forever in this horrible state that they're in. So he curses us in order to save us later. Right? And then, uh, again, covers them in blood. And from there, you get animal sacrifice, I think. Uh, that is a foreshadow, a prototype of Christ who will die on the cross. And next thing you know, you have Cain showing up. And he's like, no, no animal sacrifice. I'm going to, veganism again, here we go. I, I'm going to sacrifice the vegetables. That'll, that'll do it. I'm going to create a new religion. And um, again, salvation by works. His offering is not accepted. And so what does that turn into? Murder. So if you can see that that the theology of glory as our belief that we must achieve the glory of God by what we do uh, is what we tried to do in the first place, then that helps explain why it is the definition of original sin. It is it is what the flesh's natural religion is. And uh, the the declaration, be still and know that Jesus is God. He is risen. Ooh, he is risen indeed. Hallelujah. He's a vigil. Um, uh, you know, that is... Um, that is the antidote right? uh, that you can't, you won't. Uh, oh, look, you think you're going to do something? Watch. Um, all you can do is kill God and have it not work, except for that it did work in your favor, not because it killed him, but because he can't stay dead and that's all for your salvation. Yeah, and so God, God calls good good and makes it good through the evil. It's, it's really a, a beautiful thing.